So today, well, you'll probably be seeing this on Thursday, but I'm recording it on Wednesday. But anyway, today, uh, the Baltimore Ravens, they announced a re-signing of two players. Uh, now, neither one of the two players is uh, the one that everybody's been waiting on. And by the replies and the comments to when Ravens tweeted it out, yeah, you could tell. But anyway, um, the Ravens re-signed two guys, one being Brent Urban and the other being Daryl Worley. Um, and, and these are two moves, uh, I mean, just for depth. Uh, the, and you know the money on them is not going to be crazy, but it's more of those, in my opinion, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Uh, this will not alt alter any plans with the draft. It won't alter any plans with whatever they have planned for free agency. I, this doesn't, it won't change anything, but it is nice to have some solid depth. Brent Urban being a uh, defensive end, um, guy so he can help stop the run and use those long arms too he even got a sack last year and he did a little celebration and whatnot Brent Urban was all super happy so all right Brent we see you um so shout out to Brent Urban I mean started as a Raven ended up going to the Cowboys and then the Bears and then he made his way back uh, and, and this has been like last year was a uh, reunion year for Baltimore Ravens it really was because they brought Brent Urban back they tried to get Zadarius Smith. Um, they brought back uh, Michael Pierce, who he started with the Ravens. They brought back Josh Bynes again, uh, but then they cut him. And then they brought him back again, then they cut him again. But um, So there's a lot of reunions going on uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Like, it's Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins came at the very end of last year. So, yeah. But anyway. Um, so, yeah, congrats to Brent Urban on getting a deal with the Ravens. And now... This deal and Daryl Worley's deal, it does not guarantee them a spot on the 53-man roster next season uh, when that time comes. But we got a long way before we even got to think about that. So ain't no worries on that right now. I mean, I'm sure they're going to be there for like training camp and stuff like that. Uh, but this does, it won't guarantee them a spot. Like I said, it's not going to be for any crazy amount of money or uh, anything like that. So, But anyway, um, Daryl Worley, man. Daryl Worley, we kept wondering, a lot of us wondered, like, Ravens would sign him, then cut him, then 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 sign him. It would just be this never-ending process. And I believe, um, I think I heard it sometime during this year, that Daryl Worley, like, broke the record for most transactions on one team in a season. Uh, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I, I think I heard that. But anyway, if he did break that record, it would make sense because we, every, it was like every week. Sign him, cut him, sign him, cut him, sign him, cut him. But then where I realized, where a lot of us realized, like, hold up, wait a minute. This dude can play. He can play. When called upon, he can play. In the Bengals game where Marcus Peters, did he go out or did he just not play at all? I don't even remember. But Daryl Worley, he brought it, man. He brought in the Week 17 game. That was it. I was like, ooh, this dude was the Jamar Chase eraser. Daryl Worley was bringing it, man. The dude was hitting. He was sticking. He almost got a pick but just missed it. He was playing his behind off. So I was like, whoa, hold up there. Does this? Does he need to be a, a starter? And mess around, get some more play time, end up being a star? I don't know. But in that game, he looked great. Look for now, I said, okay, so this is why Ravens keep bringing them back. I get it now. I almost wish he would have had more play time earlier. Um, but anyway, that's that's the pass. So uh, that, I'm, I'm happy that they did sign him back because, again, Ravens need some depth. Marcus Peters is a pending free agent. Uh, we'll see what happens with him in free agency. I'm still thinking that they do the whole Jimmy Smith thing where they're like, hey, you could go test the waters. You could go test the market. Let us know what the market says. Then come back to us and talk to us. That's what I think they'll do with Marcus Peters. But, hey, we won't know until we know. Uh, but, yeah, man, just want to keep y'all updated, let y'all know what the Ravens got going on. Because, again, Ravens always got something going on. And always want to talk about these Baltimore Ravens. But I love y'all because y'all make the conversations fun. Team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. And like Daryl Worley and Brent Urban both told the GM, Harbaugh, the owner, Bashadi, everybody, they said, we are not 